Beware of the hot dogs. Not sure where they're from. How can you get something for free? Well, it's free if you don't get caught. You can get free movie passes pretty much if you about anything enough. They have these uh, guest services desks. If you go up and you're just like, it was too cold or it was so loud. Free movie passes, so just The real trick if you get something for free, honestly, is just flirt with us. Tell us what we want to hear, what we want to know. There's this one guy I know, girl just flirts with him just a tiny bit. He gets them whatever they want, all this food, drinks, candy, for free. What's the most wild thing that you saw in the movie theater? I was ushering one day and this woman came out and said that there was some funny business going on in the back of the theater. No sh that's where all the funny business goes on. And there were two high schoolers uh, getting down when I had to shine the light and be like, my oh guys, you need to leave right now. And it was so awkward. I was actually taking out the trash and I heard like a moaning sound. And I was like, hmm, the movie theater's closed. There's, there's no reason, it's the last movie. And I look up and these people are having sex in the movie theater. When I heard the moaning, I was like, hey! And they're like, they got dressed just did. They just left like so fast. I found like a thing of lube in um, the theater when I was cleaning up. And I wanted to be like, you should just get some of that movie theater butter because it's straight oil. It'll do the same job and it tastes real good, so. What happens if you get caught movie hopping? Honestly, we really don't care. Unless it's like a huge movie premiere, like it's sold out, like the Avengers type movie. We're not standing in front of the doors, like checking every ticket. It's gonna like walk around like you own the place. Like, yeah, I'm gonna bounce from movie to movie and you're not gonna tell me shit. But some employees are really strict and they will literally ban you or they will let you, make you leave. Some of them will even call the cops. It's not even that deep. What is the best seat in a movie theater? I'd say like in the middle. So that way you're not like, you know, don't have your head arched up. The dead center. That's where the sound quality is the best. In the rows between the middle and the last row. This is the middle and this is the back. I would say like somewhere here. It's not so cramped, it's not so crowded. If there's an empty theater, don't sit next to someone, that's weird. Find your own space. We never see the theater with the lights on. How dirty is it? Mmm. You have like less than five minutes to clean in between films, so most of the time we just like sweep trash under the seats and hope no one really notices. God knows when the last time those chairs were like actually cleaned. I never saw them f***ing clean those seats. There's a good chance you've probably sat in a chair where some old dude probably just urinated on himself. Cause I had to help a dude out of the chair to make sure he did not do that. So, yeah. So as you're getting all comfortable curling up into the seat, just think of all the bodily fluids that are on there and dirt and trash. And it's crazy, you find money in the movie theaters too. We actually do not always return them. We're supposed to, but we take it. I'll just grab that. Do employees care if you bring in outside snacks? If you keep it in your bag, nobody f***ing cares. I don't care. Maybe Jake and Antoine don't care. But Margaret cares, because she loves the manager, and she sucks ass. So yes, she cares, and she won't let you go anywhere because you bring in snacks. I've seen people bring in a whole box of pizza once, and I'm like... There was a guy that had like two shopping bags coming in. Like he had gone to the grocery store and was like, he had like alcohol, all this stuff. And cause I was the worst employee ever. I was just like, yo, can I have a beer after? One time when I was cleaning, I actually found a KFC box. So they were going in, <laughs> finger looking good. Let's talk about the butter. I remember this girl came up to me and said, could I just get plain popcorn please? I'm vegan, so I can't have butter. And I want to be like, girl, you could have as much of that butter as you want, because there is no dairy in that. It's not real butter. It's like an oil with some type of, um, I don't even know, it's like artificial oil. You know that, I can't believe it's not butter. It's like that, like it's mad fake. If you saw the big tins of oil and the little powder flavor thing we use, it would turn you off but whatever, it's still good. You have to eat it, a little bit of it. What's the most annoying part of the job? Cleaning toilets is probably the worst part of the job. Cause eating all that nacho cheese and popcorn, like. I've had to clean up feces off the floor. It was literally like right at the, the base of the toilet. I'm like, how did you miss? Best day or time to go to the movies. Definitely during the week, Monday through Wednesday, morning or early afternoon. Cause if you go in the morning, you get matinee, showings which uh, are cheaper tickets. The fastest way to get kicked out of a movie theater is if your phone's going off. They don't play that at all. Not even a little bit, not even a little bit. They don't play that. And people are like, shut up, stop talking, stop talking. Like you get so mad, you know when your phones go off, stop yelling. People will come out and they'll come to us and they'll be like, 
this guy right over here doing this sort of thing, he keeps doing it all movie. And we're like, we'll have to go in and if they're not gonna work with us, you're out. They ban you for everything. No reason, you breathe the wrong way, banned. You talk the wrong way, banned. Your phone goes off, banned. They just ban you for no reason, it's sick.